Okay, I'm just about to head out on the trail here. Look at this. The mist is clearing, the sun is coming up, and um, we're on the Mauna Loa Trail. <clears throat> and I wanted to fill you in on a couple of things. This week I did a 40 hour, actually ended yesterday, 40 hour fast. And I really needed to because of my left hip, which has been bothering me chronically long term when I overeat. And um, so I was really glad to get through the 40 hours. It was really tough this time. And um, I want to fill you in some of the details there. Yeah, I've had this left hip issue and I'm sure that it's leakage from my descending colon going down here, right? And into the into the left hip. I think that's all it can be because when I overeat and stuff myself, ba-bam. And um, so I've been testing that. Last year I did a gram by gram survey for about five or six months, exactly what I was eating. And it was showing up that when I went over on the oils, and I mean, I'm doing good oils and good fats. I mean, ghee and coconut and olive oil when it's when I'm not cooking with it and uh, and the fats if I went over like a hundred grams of fats that's when the pain would start the following day so it was difficult to analyze it to begin with and my name is Benedict Howard and if this interests you please subscribe like and um, comment below uh, my website is benedicthoward.com and um, I have a podcast uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a podcast there called the Fallacy and Idiocracy podcast um, and solutions for the fallacies and the idiocracy that we're going through. But back to the hip issue. And uh, like I said, it's been a chronic issue for many years. In fact, uh, probably decades, if I look back on it. And I've been managing it somewhat with um, electrical stim using... Um, a Russian electrical stim devices, which are basically biofeedback electrical stim devices. And uh, <clears throat> I, today it was actually the first time that I put the device with a pad on that joint. Now, the reason why it's not, I've not been using it before, and this is the device I've been using. It has an electrode here whole bunch of different frequencies and settings in there and that's at 60 hertz and bring up the power level on there and um but i've been using this substance called mms which is um sodium chloride and hydrochloric acid mixed to get the chlorine into the body and it really works wonders very very quickly on that joint and also on the asthma that I have too. So during the fast yesterday, I took some MMS and um, that really helped the, the autophagy that was going on because I was many hours into the autophagy by the time I ate again. So it was 40 hours. Autophagy starts somewhere around say 15, 18 hours, let's call it 20. So I had 20 hours at least of autophagy going on. And it, during that time, I <clears throat> did my Ashtanga yoga yesterday and uh, got through the standing poses and really exercised that joint as you can do in the, in the sun salutations and especially the um, forward lunges and uh, etc. And so my, my goal now is to completely recuperate that joint and not to overeat anymore and uh, really schedule a more of a protein rich diet in order that I can start putting on weight again. And weight is, uh, been, uh, I've been a lightweight all my life. But today I'm going to be hiking. This is a hiking day. And uh, there's my partner, I don't see her. Um, and uh, Lindy's somewhere around here. Look at the sun coming up. Let's take a look over here. This is the trail going up there. From here, up to the cabin. Last, last week I made it up to 9,000 feet, which is about there. This is at 10,000 feet. And we're at about 6,700 feet here. And uh, this is a core, little core forest that we have 
lake uh, nestled in here. And look at this view here. <clears throat> wow. Isn't that amazing? So I've been using the electrical stim um, <clears throat> this morning. Um, and I've also been using one of those thumper things um, that I got from um, Amazon. They're like a, a vibrator that, that can just like really dig into the muscles and dig into the joints. And uh, I find it really, really effective. It's kind of like a massage tool that I, think I can show it to you over here. Really love this tool. And I should do, if people are interested, a series of videos on it. You've probably seen these, right? And if I turn it on, power it up. Yeah, you can see that head going in and out. And then what I do is I work that joint down here. Let me get the camera around to it. Going on to the hip joint here. Anyway, I won't do a full demonstration there, but you get the idea. Now, what's interesting about this combination of the MMS, which is basically taking out the um, positively charged, uh, what do you call them, um, toxins, um, pathogens, pain creating, and it takes out those and uh, very quickly cleans the blood very and uh, separates the red blood cells couple red blood cells so that they're not all clustered and it's very good for all sorts of things including cancers and inflammatory situations like all of us have me included so i'm 72 years old and i have a goal to reach at least 100 so getting my body and keeping it in shape is number 1 for me Maybe you've seen on my podcast my 10 squat challenge, right? Where we do like 10 squats. Uh, and then down all the way, <clears throat> etc. And um, those sort of exercises to keep the main muscle groups going. And then, of course, with the Ashtanga yoga, which I'm getting back stronger into the practice, but it's going to be you know, another six months or maybe nine months before I can get into some of the more tricky poses in that primary series. And, um, but a lot of them I can do already, so that's really nice to be able to do them. And because I've been working at this for about a month, doing the full practice. And what happened on Saturday, actually a monthly doing the full practice on Saturdays, um, at least the standing poses during the week and over the month I can't believe how much I changed actually the first three weeks and then this last Saturday I crashed and I could hardly do it because I'd eaten too much and it gave me the incentive to really fast and and get get a handle on on the fasting so what my goal is to do a do that that 40 hours or maybe a 48 or 50 hour fast once a week and then one meal a day or you know intermittent fasting during the rest of the week i did eat a, a, a breakfast this morning had some yeah i had some breakfast this morning before setting out on the hike and uh, so that's the update i'm very pleased with the outcome on the hip it does hurt a little bit now but what happened yesterday i was very low energy um, before I ate around four o'clock and I uh, went for a, a walk of about a mile and a half and I couldn't believe how much less pain was in that hip after I'd walked and that's because the, when you're walking like that bone gets compressed and it creates a little electrical charge and it really helps the joint surface to get more structured water <laughs> and the nanny get more structured water between the joint the cartilages so that it can slip easier and that's what you really want to do is get that structured water which is more of like a gel like water that's in the body 
in between those joints. So with the electrical stim, I'm bringing the voltage up in that area <clears throat> to, su to support the regenesis of the damage that's obviously in those tendons and joints and probably cross-fibered, uh, cross-fibered, what you call them, collagens in, those, in the, in the um, ligaments. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the sites, forward to the hike today. Again, my name is Benedict Howard. BenedictHoward.com, my podcast is Fallacy and Idiocracy, and I'm a health coach, a longevity health coach, and uh, really looking to open up some of the work that I've been doing with sound, healing, and sacred geometry, and um, explaining the, the non-classical physics way of talking about what's really going on in the body. We have a plasma body. It's very, very interesting when you get into that. So aloha and mahalo sun for coming up and the blue sky that we have above us and the clouds that are going, being vaporized off and it's going to be a great day. I hope you have one too. Mahalo. Mahalo.